put aside straight in. And uh, yeah, well, favoring favorite side is obviously the CT side, but let's see what's gonna happen. I mean, I don't think Lowland Lions are really bothered which side they will start, because I think they're confident enough with any side, especially against the, the Benelux teams, I suppose. You can put it out there. <laughs> but they're actually uh, doing well on the Shanking department as well. So Lone and Lions winning that, that one, obviously, with the still two players left up alive as well. Yeah. So, Lone Lions going to start on that T side. Like you said, CT being the favorite side here on Mirage, a CT sided map. Um, you need to get, for, for you to play a, a, a really good CT side, you need to pick up at least 10 or 11 rounds. Um, that's going to be the task now for the... Whoa, what? what? Are our Asterion actually going to go on T side? Well, Lola Lines then choosing obviously CT. Wait, hang on. Lola Lines won the knife. What? <laughs> yeah. You said yeah. they were doing. Re I was baited by you actually this time because I thought because you said because I said no, whatever. Basically, <laughs> that goes everything I just said. So, same thing applies. Only for the Lola Lines this time. I would swear that Asterion won that knife round, man. I would swear on. <laughs> Oh, my, nice. oh, my hamster. Up. Oh, you don't have an hamster anymore then? <laughs> well, yep. Yeah. Let's go. He did. So, yeah, we're waiting for the players to ready up once more. And uh, looks like Neil M is again on that coaching position, whereas Kai's King is now in the server. The Dutch powerhouse. Kai van Staal Downen, as he is also called, uh, has a big history of. Uh, of CS, play Counter Strike Source. I believe he played for the uh, Lone Lions lineup back then as well. I'm not completely sure about that though. Played a lot of 1.6 as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Dutch Fanatic, right? Uh, the Dutch Fanatic, thank you, yes. The Dutch Fanatic with Prof and, and Zerstion and, and the players like that. Um, so yeah, looks like the match will be going live for live in the pistol round. Lone Lions having won that knife round, starting on the CT side of this map, Mirage. And who is going to pick up the kit here for Lone Lions? Is it going to be Monu, or are they not going to go for kit? That could, of course, also happen. Monu is going to go for that kit. He's going to be the player towards CT side, towards the CT box, rather, alongside his teammate. Primer. Uh, very standard setup here. Two players towards B, one towards mid, and two towards A for the low end lines. And the and are going to go for an A push with three people through Palace and two through the A ramp with that bomb. Looks like Smokes will actually be going out. Mono is going to get flashed and he's going to get smoked off. Primer will rattle off some shots through that smoke. We'll take down Louis Ravo on that side. Monu. Some good shots there, and the primer takes down Kinzo as he leaps through that smoke. Crucial with a headshot onto Fasher as well. It's now 2v5. Amos with no armor and just a P250. Will he be able to do some damage and keep his team around? Well, he won't. Monu will kick, him, kick his head clean off. Monu has a defuse kit, so he's gonna get on that defuse as soon as possible. And Kai's King will mop up the remaining fragments of slain there. A very, very clean pistol round here for the Lone and Lions as they uh, annihilate that push from Sterling. But having that said. Bomb plan for a stereo. Yeah, indeed. Uh, it's a um, surprise, actually. A stereo are usually the kind of uh, team that would just go B in the first round, which we've seen in the past on, on, on their plays on Mirage. But yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, another cleanup round. We do see Lone Lines actually investing for the third round already. Uh, four rifles in and just one SMG on Vin. But looks like Kai's King should be having all the action as uh, a stereo. With the full team are making their way towards B. Guys can gonna adjust his position just a little bit. Finn is gonna line up a great note. Instead, he decides to back off a little bit towards short. Guys King has to spot that B push. Will take out Kinzo. Where's Vin? Vin is coming in the rear. Guys King now finding himself another frag here. Vin will shut down Slain as well. Crucial though coming in support. Taking out Luz Ravo. And demos. And there we go. Two to zero. Good round there from the Lions, and that's really all uh, what you would have asked for. And no bomb planned as well by Asterion. Yep. I have, like, it's such a clean round for the uh, the Lions. They lost only one player in the uh, in the pistol. Now they've not lost anyone 
in that second round. And uh, that being said, Asterion, of course, were only on pistols, no armor to work with. Um, but still, very, very good round for the Lions, minimizing the amount of uh, funds they need to reinvest in those guns. So that is uh, that is good stuff for the Lions. Looks like it will be a very slow pace play here for the Asterion boys. Just awaiting that mid push. No one's going to push mid from the, the Long Lions boys, though. Finn opted to uh, stick to the UMP. It's also going to withhold him from uh, showing aggression on mid. He's just going to play that ladder, that ladder room area. As of right now, Asterion are just clearing out mid. It is uh, Fasher who is uh, the point man. And that mid push. Monu is going to peek the window just very quickly. Spots three players. going to call that out to his teammates. And is going to get the hell out of dodge. As, uh, Fasher is now getting flashed in in the connector. He's going to get flashed by Crucial as well. Pop flashed himself uh, from those stairs. But that's going to give some information to Fasher. He knows that uh, Crucial is towards those stairs. Fasher. Almost gets flashed up though. Oh, almost lands a shot down to Crucial. Crucial will get the better of him though. Nice duel there and Crucial coming out on top. Lewis Raven will get the revenge frag though. Modu will get the frag onto Slain who uh, leaps out of that connector area. Lewis Raven now out on the stairs. So it's like it will be an A-Rap and Kinzo. A nice shot down to Modu. Three on three situation right now. It is uh, still Primer on that CT box. He's going to spot Ammo. He's going to take down Ammo as well with that M4. Shot to the head. Bomb has to go down now, and all Primer has to do is uh, delay this, uh, this plan. Lose Ravo. Gonna get one. Doesn't land the second there onto Primer, and that will secure the third round here for the Lions. And 3-3 three three situation at some point for Asterion, but they just couldn't capitalize on the uh, yeah, on, on the small advantage that they had because Primer was there in CT to deny them that plant. That uh, was a close call. I mean, uh, Primer actually shut down the Bomb Planter through the smoke. Of course, you can line up uh, those smoke shots as well, but you know, could have could have done uh, could have been done differently. But yeah, then again, there was not a lot of time uh, left to actually take the round. But another pistol round for Asterion here with Monu taking out the first wave. Make that two players down, but Amos will uh, get a revenge frag, and that's really with a minimal investment. Not what you want to have here. Primero and Kai's King both combined will mop up these last remaining players. Kai's going with a third frag. A second frag of the round, I'm sorry, but 40 0. Only one player being lost that round. Still okay. All nice and dandy, but yeah, another round in and uh, full uh, utility for uh, Asterion this time. Let's see how this uh, is gonna work out for, uh, for the MDINs. Yep. That's indeed. No AWP though on the Asterion boys. Lose Raven not opting to go for the big green gun. Um, maybe you felt it wasn't worth it. Um, had the money for it, at least for a glass cannon. Oh, look at Crucial though. He's picking up a frag with that MP9. Something that against fully gunned the pony. He also has an AK now, so that basically means that he invested like 1,050 to get a gun. To actually get a real good gun from the uh, the Asterion guys there. So, that is a. Uh, I think that was Slane who's going to be kicking himself for that. It's not a gun you want to lose, and right now it is the advantage firmly in the hands of uh, of Lone Lions, who they don't have to undertake anything right now. They can just wait. They can wait for uh, the Asterion boys to push somewhere. Crucial is on the edge of that smoke. He's just around the edge, though. There is a Luz Ravo, who's going to land the headshot there onto Crucial. He's going to continue his push towards B. Luz Ravo. Can he land a second shot? It's Kinzo now leading the push. Alongside his team, and Kinzel will get the better there of Kai's King. Amos in the meantime as well onto Primer. There's now a three on one situation. And Finn finds himself between a rock and a hard place. Bomb is going down. Finn is already out. Can he land a second? No, he can't. Lose Raver will uh, clean him up there with a nice little shot to the head. And that is the first round for Asterion there. And it is a very scrappy round at that. Yeah, it's definitely not the confidence uh, that is shown at the moment. But I like the fact that they uh, Asterion did. Show a little bit of more aggression towards mid and making their way towards B short as well. And that worked out great. But now they need to get another round in. And if they don't, it's going to be another couple of rounds lost because their money will be reset yet again. And Slay not even have enough money uh, this round to buy an AK, which is, you know, a little bit shocking at the moment. But let's see. 
they might be able to uh, work with uh, what they have. And Tech 9 is certainly not a too bad weapon. A couple of players down in mid. It is uh, Fasher as well as Kinzo just rattling off a couple of shots. Crucial with the op though. He's currently not challenging too much. He's down to 65 health points. And gonna come out now as the flashbang did come in. You should know one is gonna be around that chair. Kinda suspect him uh, that he heard him right there, but let's see. Mysterial now making her way towards A. It's very, very slow play here from Mysterial, and it's there's only now 45 seconds left on the clock, and they haven't really done anything. Monudo gonna push up, taking out Fasher. And that was a, a fairly easy kill. Not uh, much being done uh, from uh, Monu's end there. Just coming around the corner and taking him out. And those flashbang just flashed up the entire team there. Monu, you gotta take out another player. And that push from uh, Asterion is just gonna go nowhere. Unless Slay and or maybe Amos here gets a frag. Amos will drop one. But Monu here now finding himself the hat trick. Gotta peek out. Gonna take out Lewis Raven as well. Nearly gonna go for the ace, but Amos coming up with a double kill here now. On three frags for Amos. He's got two more plays to find. The bomb in the middle uh, of the row, but that can happen. Guys King will take him out. And again, with only five seconds left to spare, it's just a desperate situation there. Yeah, well. That was uh, a brilliant individual performance there from Monu. I have to say, very enabled by his teammates there, by good counter flashes. He could just take out Kinzo cleanly behind that Molotov because he was blinded up for at least five seconds. And Monu just uh, making good use of the situation there and taking down the bigger half of the Asterion lineup. So right now, <clears throat> only pistols for Asterion. D on Kinzo. Amos with some armor and a smoke. Slain with the smoke as well. <coughs> and they will be going for an A execute. As of right now, Monu and Primer are going to be the designated men to defend set site. Monu tosses out a defensive flash. Bomb is out on towards the side. Primer not going to land the shots though. He is going to land that shot onto his Raven who... Uh, Shortly made his way out of the smoke, but got back in. But it was a little too late as Primer saw him anyway. I almost got that bomb down. So at least something for the Asterion boys and Monu will just mop up the remaining kills again. And that is a, again, a relatively clean round there for the Long Dines. However, Asterion did get the plant, so that was probably the thing they were going for because, you know, they just tossed out some smokes. Main point was try and get the bomb down. That worked. Now they can buy up with uh, a. Basically, a good amount of smokes and flashes and, and, and the whole Shazam. It's a bit of a win-win for every team. I mean, Lowland Lions not losing a single player. Asterion got the bomb down, which is pretty much their objective for the round. Kinzo here, opening up things onto uh, Crucial, taking him out early on, but the AK shot to the head. However, the Vin does manage to get himself onto ladder room, and it's going to stop that uh, B short as sold. And Let's have a look at Vin here, because he's got two players right up ahead. And Vin is placing, playing in a really crucial role. He uh, does take out uh, Fasher. Kinzo's got to push around. Vin is going to take him out as well. And that is Kinzo down and out, and now putting low lines with a man up. Counter and they come in, but it's not going to be enough to uh, finish off Vin there. Not going to be even close, and Vin is going to back off here. And did pull out the plays in that moment. Nice King now firing off a couple of shots. Did spot Slain out there. So again, Asterion now being spotted. Slain and uh, Mose though combined cleaning up Vin and Monu. Kai's King though has uh, managed to uh, put himself in a really good position in fact. Because they no, don't know where he is. He's just in the truck and Slain uh, should be take up, taken out. There we go. Primer coming in the back, shutting down Lewis Rabo. It's all on to Mose. What can happen? Kai's King will take him out and... It's very nice play from uh, Kaisking and Vin combined to defend the B-bomb site. Yep. And I actually like how Kaisking just went full defensive mode. He was like, okay, wait, there's two of them. And he just tried to play the smokes well, and uh, it was exactly what happened. They lost track of Kaisking, thought he maybe retreated towards the kitchen side or even towards the back of Shorter, but uh, whilst in reality, he was lurking behind that white fan. Oh, brilliant play there from Kaisking. And uh, again... Good round for the Lions. 
However, they lost quite a few more men there in that round. Only Primer and Kai's King surviving that round. Which we'll show this time with AWP. He's going to rattle off some shots towards uh, the Palace area. He's going to check middle. Not going to see anyone though. Kinzo is going to land the first there onto Vin with the Deagle. Kai's King is going to get the revenge frag there onto uh, Kinzo. The B push is now on for the Asterion uh, players. Kai's King is still towards the back there. Fasher will take him down with a uh, brilliant Pizza 50 shot to the head. And now it's Slain and Fasher in a 2 on 3 with no armor and only a Deagle to work with. And Slain will take down Monu, will take his head clean off. Crucial will land the shot there onto Slain as he tried to dance out. Dart out of that uh, palace area. And right now it is Fasher with only a Deagle to work with and a very angry Crucial with his AWP. Towards short. Oh. Fasher will land another one dig down on the Crucial. It's now a one on one. And it's Primer against Fasher. It's not going to matter though, as Primer will take down Fasher with a shot to the head with an M4. But still, good damage from uh, the Asterion boys with those Deagles. Didn't matter in the end though, as uh, Fasher could not close it out as he only had 10 HP. Wow. I mean, still four kills. That is uh, great, but. Now, Asterion, you need some rounds. And that's all what it's uh, gonna matter here. Kai's King, though, gonna push up on mid. However, Asterion, three players with his eyes peeled on Kai's King's position. But Kai's King's actually not gonna push out. He's just gonna wait for it. And Asterion there, just taking it very slow. Is this the right approach here, Dins? Maybe fast approaches work a lot better against Lowland Lions because Lowland Lions are such a versatile and dynamic team. They will uh, adjust to any given uh, situation really fast, and you kind of shouldn't yeah. let them. To to be fair, like uh, like we've seen what what happened when they wanted to do a later execute with the good counter flashes coming in from uh, from the long lines, allowing the Monu to pick up a hat trick there, or even a, a quad kill, I believe. Uh, so yeah, I think you're right. You should just try and surprise them, but then again. You're going to surprise them once, and then they're going to expect it, you know. They're going to expect you to go aggressive. So, uh, right now, it's just to execute not working out. Modu and Primer just combine so brilliantly there on the, the on that A push. Primer with another shot there onto Luz Revo. And now it's only Slain coming from the middle. And there's just nothing you can do in a situation like this. It's just not working out right now. The Lone Lions have an answer for everything that Asterium are doing. And... This is uh, looking very grim for the Asterion boys. I've mentioned before that you need to get at least 10 or 11 rounds on that CT side uh, in order for it to be successful. Well, they're already on 9, Rick. This yes. is bad news for Asterion. Yeah, I mean, Lola Lines just absolutely crushed that uh, assault from Asterion. But now they're on the Tech 9, so maybe there's going to be a magical round because they nearly got it with the deal. So let's. Let's hope for the best here, but Primer is going to be defending it as well as Monu here. And Monu coming up with a double kill. Primer is going to follow up uh, one of the footsteps onto Luzer Rebo. And there is Monu with that trick. Uh, this Tech 9 rush this is going to be cleaned up by Finn here as well. 10 to 1. Easy peasy round. As easy well. peasy. Lemon we're squeezy. We're on a 9 round lead for Lowland Lions. There's not much to say. and. Who's Raven now with the AWP? Bit of a change. I haven't seen an uh, AWP on the T side, have we? No, we haven't. You're, uh, you're right. So, let's see if he can do some damage with it. Kinzo can do some damage, though. Crucial, down and out. As, uh, that is now the advantage for one of the first times in the hands of Sterion. Look at the HP on the Sterion boys. Like Kinzo on 17 and Slain on 74 already. That means Slain is basically one clickable. And Luz Rafa will fall. Luz Rafa will fall with that AWP uh, by the M4 of Vin. And look at the position of Primer. Primer is in such a good position right now. He picks up a frag there onto Slain. That is the bomb carrier. He now knows the position of the bomb. That is going to be vital information here for Lone Lines. In the meantime, though, Fasher will take down Monu. Surprises him as he uh, peeks out of that connector. Kai's King towards short. Kai's King, he surely will fall. No, he won't. 2 HP left. Manages to take down Fasher with the AK shot to the face. And now Ammo is finding himself in a 1v3 situation. We've seen him in this position over and over again. 
is because Amos is the lurker towards A, so when his teammates cannot find a dent in the defense, he is the man that has to pick up the remaining shards of the confidence that they have left. Well, and that is not happening. Tactical pause. <laughs> yeah, well, so bit of, a bit of a late pause, don't you think? For a yeah, tactical yeah. pause. To uh, be fair, it's... this is too late. Like, um, they're, they're, they have, they basically gave away their CT side already now, like, like their T side, I should say, because yeah. 11 to 1, based on how the rounds went and the confidence that the Lone Lions now have, you're going to see them pick up at least one more round. Mm -hmm. So that means that the most they can get out of this is a 12 3 scoreline, which means that they have lost their T side harshly, to say the least. <laughs> so, yeah. You say it in a mild way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm putting it in. This is, yeah, well, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. So, you always have to be careful, especially with CS, because that, like, the whole system with the economy can really, like, allow you to pick up so many rounds in a row. Um, so, yeah, it looks like Asterion have made up their mind. They are actually going to go for a buy. Unpause is coming in. We will get this match on the way as soon as the Lone Lions are up for the task. Well, there they are. Unpause. And let's see. Luz Revo with that Galil. Didn't have money for an, uh, for an AK. And he has a smoke as well. And let's see, Rick. Can they do something? Can they make a play? And get themselves slightly back into this match. Looks like the aggression is going to be towards B. This Kai King with that AK is going to be jump spotting towards the B halls there. Such a good position to be in. Jumping about. As soon as you spot them, you can throw some defensive flashes, throw a Molotov, and basically deny a whole push there. Oh, well, he's opting to go for the smoke, but here's the uh, the enemy smoke coming in. He's going to opt not to. Tosses out a Molotov. And, uh, wow. Finn picks up two before Kinzo takes him down. Kinzo peeks around, though. Doesn't land the uh, a second frag there. Kai's King on 13 HP to lose Ravo now. Still in the app, still in that corner. And look at Slane. Slane is in such a good position to flank right now, but Primer is having none of it. He's expecting that back push. It, it took way too long there. He was just checking all the angles. And that is the 12th round for the Lions. That means that Asterion have to go on a pistol force. Or a full force here. But that basically shatters their hopes and dreams of getting back in this game. Or at least slightly saving face on this uh, on this T side. It's just... Yeah. I think it's uh, fair to say that this, uh, this half is uh, not the best half they have ever had. I mean... <laughs> Lone Lions have crushed them at every single uh, single move Asterion uh, did, and well, the Deagle's coming out. Maybe Asterion will be able to uh, show some magical play as Amos does get boosted up on the window. P250 to hand. He's actually got two players right there, but Smoke's coming out, which is not working in his favor. And he jumps, and Modi will uh, find him, so, giving his position away. And is it me that is uh, experiencing lag, or? Oh, I have a connection problem as well. So, looks like we have a small connection problem. We actually just got word in that the Stereon have forfeited the game. And that basically puts the Long Lions on 16 points, making them the grand winner of this group stage. Congratulations to them. That means they get first seed mm -hmm. in the uh, in the semifinals. That means it also means that they're playing a Stereon in those set semifinals.